Hello Automation Animal Lovers, welcome back to KT Sessions. Today we are going to see how can we connect to our local device in our uh, control room. So earlier I was using this device PR and uh, today I have logged in uh, into a new device and uh, I am uh, using Automation Anywhere uh, in this device. So I am getting this error you can see the status is disconnected because I'm using the another device so now what we can do is we can connect to this local device for this we need to download the border on this device and uh, when I go to this manage under this manage I can see devices and here you can see the list of all the devices which you are using if you want to delete this device we can uh, check this and uh, from here we can delete this device and for adding a new device we can click on this plus icon and here you can see connect to my computer uh, first first of all that uh, downloading of a board agent will get start automatically you can see it is getting download so as soon as it's, it's get download we will double click on it and we will uh, install the board agent and meanwhile let me show you the control panel you can see we don't have uh, automation anywhere uh, bot agent in the installed program list okay download is complete so let's install this here we can see this .exe file or the installer So here we can select uh, for which user we want to install. If you want to install for the all user, we can select this. If you want to install only for uh, the current user, we can select uh, this one only for me. So it has installed successfully. You can see this automation anywhere bot agent. So we are getting this error system allows only a single device to be registered if you need to replace your existing device you should delete it first because we are using community edition so we can uh, uh, register only one device so let me delete the current device first uh, let me delete this device let me connect to local device again I will click on it and connect to my computer our uh, bot agent is already installed so no need to install it again we can go to the next step which is connect your computer and in additional information nothing is uh, showing so let me click on done and here we go we can see this new device so we have successfully registered our new device and we can see this green tick mark that which means it the status is connected and uh, we can also select our device to view and adjust settings as needed such as scheduling permissions and other configurations all these things are available in the enterprise edition you can check it there and if you want to preload the packages on your device you can go to this and uh, here you can see this option preload packages so these are the common packages and in customize you can select the packages whichever you want to preload because if we preload the actions then it will decrease the time uh, because when we run the boat then it will start loading the packages so that will require time but if we already if we preload the packages then it will take less time and also if you want to export the list of uh, the devices we can uh, select the device and we can click on this export checked item to csv and it will download a csv file so here you can see all the information of the devices this is how we can uh, download we, so this is how we can connect to our local device in control room so we can go to the boards and our device is connected successfully so let me create one board and uh, see whether it is able to run the board or not on this device our board is running fine you can see we are getting this message box let me close this and 
here we go thank you guys for watching this video do let me know if you have any doubt or any query related to any of the topic thank you bye